All right, hello world, YouTubers, everybody in between. I have a question for you. Yes, a question. Can you answer it for me? Or help me find the answer? So my question is, this is a unibody car. I want to basically chop the top off the car, have the running gear and the suspension still connected to the unibody but drop a my dog, 1937 Chevy on top of it. Yep, you heard me. I want to take my 1937 Chevy, far the red one looking one over there. Excuse the plane, I think the airport. They're a lot louder than me. I gotta compete, huh queen? Compete with making noise. So I want to chop the top off this unibody. Obviously I have to strengthen the bottom to be able to not have it be too flimsy. And then I want to be able to weld my 37 on top of this. And I know that the wheel wells are probably going to be off. And I know the track, with the, which is the width, that might be off a little bit too. But first and foremost, I haven't seen very many of these. Uh, cut apart well first of all why would you cut a z28 camaro with an ls1 with 97,000 miles why would you who in the right mind would cut that apart why wouldn't you drive it right so anyways as i ramble on um that was my question unibody cut it flat drive it with the 37 chevy on top of it welded Yes, it's not going to be strong, you know, support, blah, blah, blah. I feel if we strengthen this up enough, whatever we drop on it will be legit. You know what I mean? I know if you crash in one of these old trucks, you're probably dead anyways because they're small as shit. So, but that's not even the point of this conversation. I'm going to show you some eye candies. I ramble on. I'll show you my 37 that I want to drop on it. I'm missing the bed, but that's no issues. I have back fenders, a new grill, aftermarket grill. I'm missing these parts for it. I just picked up this project, but I want to get it going. I don't want it to sit. I gotta get the bars going on that guy. Let's finish him painting. This is for sale, so if anybody's looking for one of my frame swaps and needs paint, other than that, it's good to go. This one, anybody's looking for a bagged 49 GMC staggered rims with the LS1 engine as well, it's for sale. Better hurry up, get that one while it's hot before I end up bagging it and finishing it. And then it's going to cost double or triple. So there's my question, YouTube. Deuces, everybody. Happy New Year. I hope everything's well.